I am hungry, y'all. This feels so just. Don't mind me, I'm just sitting here all by myself. Don't mind me, I'm just sitting here all by myself. All right. How good. Yeah? These were painful when I was practicing. The accent, yeah, the bottom section. And this section, yeah. Yeah, this is... they, they can be a little tough. They are, you know, once you, when you're first starting with them. Okay. Oh, here to start, we're going to go with just a down, up, down, up. So we just went through essentially eight different dynamic levels there. Yeah. For the most part, that's what we're dealing with. There's essentially eight different dynamics, from the very, very quiet all the way up to the very, very loud. Pianissimo, pianissimo, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte, fortissimo, fortississimo. So the last one, the fortississimo, of course, we, we, we need to bring a little bit of arm into that so that we're really just slamming it down. And then the pianissimo, right, you know, we're down here really really quiet right it's all about stick height you did really well here yeah right and you did really well there yeah it was the middle ones where you're like huh with the loud right we have this position where the hand not playing is down low and this is good however sometimes when we're trying to develop this understanding of these dynamics we set the position to say here so you can use the other stick as this reference for where you want the other stick to bounce back to that's it, right. Same thing when we're here. When you start to bring it up a little bit, your tendency is to want to lift and then do the stroke, right? So you want to start to develop the wrist flick or that little, that only that downward motion from these different heights. You can see that it's always returning essentially to that same general area. And you just want to pick all these different heights to do this with. Just find, find a height and then just go, okay, let me try to match it each time with each hand. There's a way to work on that stuff. Now, cool. let's go and let's get into the, uh, number one there with the accent on the down B. Okay, let's see if I remember. So what's happening in your mind right now, uh, keep going as I, okay. as I talk. Okay. It's okay. It's, it's good for you to try to listen and play at the same time. What's happening is you're thinking about down, tap, up, tap. Okay. Now there's nothing wrong with that when developing the movements, right? However, you want to get to the idea of going one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh, and then the strokes, right? The downs, the taps, and the ups, those are just understood. All right, so then number two. <laughs> we don't even know, man. It's right. However, you do need to pulse with this stuff. If you're not pulsing, you're going to start to drift to make that accent seem like it's on the one. I mean, it's not always, but that can happen if you're not creating that pulse. The thing is, though, right, is that you were being successful. So if I go like this, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three. See, I'm not doing right. the upstroke, right? I'm waiting, and I'm just picking the stick up now and then accenting. When going slowly, that's totally legit. You can do that. You don't have to do this. See how long my hand is up in the air? Preparatory upstrokes come into play when going faster. Right. Right. That's what it's going to be for. Right. So how do we play that by going? Okay. Right. The only way to okay. get it to go that fast is to get that upstroke so that the stick is up and we're coming down almost instantaneously. Right. They're primarily used for when moving quickly, but you do need to develop them slowly. Hit 
put like a the wrong yeah you did the pulse, pulse in there once. on okay. at least one of those <laughs> yeah but, see, but if you're pulsing on the wrong but one then it's the wrong tell, one you then can't tell. Wrong. I'll pull, I'll pull beans. Dad, oh, you got it. You got it. You, got it. you just have to. <laughs> I'll it's pull. Just, it's necessary here. Yeah. Why am I pulsing on the end? I'm going to start over, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always very aware when I do it. That's good. But my leg just doesn't seem to be. <laughs> I'm... Listen, slower is good here. Yeah. One. And uh, two. See, there's these moments of stillness between each movement. Stop, right? But you see, though, <laughs> the quality right. of everything that yeah. you just did there was way up yeah. compared to where it was when you were just moments earlier playing it a little bit too fast. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This totally. is essentially Darcy, actually. Oh, this, is, this is what I'm playing for that's Darcy. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool that's, to know. That's, 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 in the main, of... that's the main drum beat for Darcy. Okay. So it's got a little bit of a it's got a little bit of a swing feel to it. Right? Sounds like you're gonna make trouble here. Yeah. <laughs> actually, you know what? Just groove. Just give me a like one. Let's go right into that. <laughs> Slowly, break it down, count. It's perfect right there. I know you're like, oh, it's so slow. I don't mind being slow okay. when I do it right. Now, let's have some fun. So we're going to go back to the basic rock beat again. But I don't want you to play the hi-hats with the right hand. I want you to play the low tom. So just play the basic rock beat. <laughs> now I'll play number four again. Okay. But instead of playing the hi-hat, you're playing it on the low tom. Okay. Now, here's where the fun starts. It is fun doing that. <laughs> I just circled three notes. Yes, you did. They're all snares. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> now, all of those circled notes, you're going to play them on the high tone. Oh, I think it's going to be fun, but I'm so scared. <laughs> step? Why not? Each of those circled notes are now going to be on a different drum. <sighs> it's got to count. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great little groove. Get you moving around on all the different drums. It's the same coordination as if we played it hi-hat, all kick and snare and hats, right? Yeah. But just by changing what we're hitting, we get this different sounding groove. Just to give another musical example of where this groove is, this is actually four full circle. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't have that tom, so I don't use that one. But full circle, I actually, one of the things I do as well is I turn the snares off. So I'm going. All right, so that yeah, just another musical example of where that groove comes into play. Cool. Yeah. It's a beautiful warm day, finally. We had a really warm day a little while ago, and then it was just cold, 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 cold. And now we're back to the regular SoCal weather. So I'm letting my car cool off just a little before we sit inside. Really good lesson, but my battery is dying, so I'll have to give my summary later. I was editing the vlog and I said in the vlog, oh, I'll record my thoughts later. And I never recorded my thoughts on the lesson. I can't remember exactly. I'm sure I had a great time. I'm sure that I learned a lot that lesson. <laughs> but now it's been so long. And here I am recording the outro. 
months later. So instead of talking about my thoughts, here's a clip of my bandmate's wife playing drums. She's an awesome gal. She's got a lot of talent. Her grandfather was a drummer. Thank you all so much for watching and joining me on this journey. So glad you're sticking with it with me. I have so many more vlogs to share with you, so many more stories, and lots more on this channel. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when new videos go up, and follow me on all the social medias. I'm pretty active there, so go ahead and follow. You know, I am I Nene. Thank you all so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!